television shows and shit like that, like different shows and shit like that. Uh-huh. You know, if I seen a a, a a a black chick with a white dude or a black dude with a white chick, it was kind of strange to me because I didn't grow up around that. So to uh-huh. me, it was weird. And uh-huh. then when you watch, like me, I just watch soap opera and shit. I see a black woman kissing a white man. That I'm like, it just it puzzles me when I'm a child because I don't know what to, what to think of it. It puzzles my ass. It's strange. It's not something I'm used to seeing. And I damn sure don't like seeing it now. I damn sure don't like seeing it now. At all. So. I think the... When it changed for me... I always figured, like... Back in the day, like, shows like Happy Days and fucking... Uh, all in the family of good times where other kids would be the only one to go. Yeah. I remember one what of the Jefferson. Happy, happy Days I watched. Mm-hmm. That they had the, the black guy coming in and shit. So they were trying to set him up with, you know, the women girls. I think Richie wanted to date one of the girls. And the girl was like, oh, I, my friend needs a, you know, a little bit of a blind date. Mm-hmm. So when the black guy comes in and she goes, uh, uh, you know, but I understand the time frame because that's the 50s. Yeah. And the 70s. Uh-huh. You know, that was still, it was liberation at that time. Right. And, but I didn't look at that shit, didn't look at the Jefferson. I, I, I had a, like you, I found it to be kind of weird, like, when I see a, a white, a white man and a black woman, it's not natural to me. Yeah, like Tom and, and uh, and Helen? Yeah. It was but, you know, you know, I'm not going to lie to you, for some reason, that never bothered me. I don't know why that never bothered me. Because she's not attractive. Maybe that's what it is. <laughs> I hate to say it. Because I see a lot of... No, there's a lot of there's a lot of dark-skinned women that's attractive. I don't, I don't know. I was a kid at the same time, so I really can't say if I was attracted to her or not. But for some reason, just for that show alone, it didn't really bother me. But like, if I watched any other show and I seen like any other kind of black... Oh, my God. If I would have seen 2D date a white guy in a fashion life, I would have been mad. I would have been mad because that was my first crush. I would have been mad. Because not even living single, not even living single did she date uh, a white dude. Alright. But that's a different fucking show. Yeah. That's a, that, 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 Those are the kind of shows they need to put back on television, but they're not. If you notice this shit, because I said this shit in one of my other videos, they are, they're removing black um, couple and black love images from TV. Most most of the shows that um that they put on TV now, they're mostly putting black people in relationships with people that are not black. You'll have a black man uh-huh. that's in a relationship with a white woman or an Asian woman. Uh-huh. Uh, and majority of the time, when it's a black woman, she's going to be cast in this show where there's nothing but white men. Uh-huh. So, I mean, I know that there's black men out there that believe that black women betray and all that shit, but, uh-huh. but they putting they putting us with people that don't look like us all the fucking time. And if they do uh-huh. put us in a situation together... It's either like we're the ex girlfriend or ex boyfriend or we're the ex wife or ex husband, and our relationship is exposed to every time we get together, we do nothing but fucking argue. And then people on uh-huh. watch who are watching at home say, "Oh, that's the reason why they're not together." Uh-huh. But then, uh-huh. then you, uh-huh. yeah. But then you could you could put the thing that kills me, and I said this shit a bunch of times. The thing that kills me, I know you probably saw it too, because I know you watch TV, but you don't watch TV like that. But you could put a fucking white man and a black woman in any kind of relationship, and it'll and it'll last the test of time. No matter what the fuck comes their way, they will always overcome it. But if you put a, a, a black man in a relationship with a black woman on television nowadays, their relationship can't last. That show lasts five, six episodes, and then it's all over. Uh-huh. We'd, be, we'd be lucky to get just one black couple in any fucking show these days. And I tell you, man, these these white dudes, these white dudes are the ones that's writing the script. So if they writing the script and it's a it's a it's a soap opera, especially that's why these white men are the ones that be getting these black chicks because if they gonna write a story, they ain't gonna make they fucking they they fucking men uh uh cower up to a black man or or, or lose out to getting that, that black woman that they want. They gonna make sure they get them because I told you I used to watch that show Passions and they did that shit on Passions. I'll show you the, the the fight that that black dude had with that white dude and he beat his ass over the wife. Now I think she's biracial. I don't know. I, I, somebody says she black. She could be biracial. I don't know, but. She ain't a bad looking woman, you know. She likes him. She ain't a bad looking woman, but he beat that he beat that white dude's ass, and she still fucked with his with, with with the white dude and left his ass. And the whole time when that, when that show first came on, that white dude was trying to fuck with her, 
The whole fucking time she kept pushing his ass away, she would even smack him in the face, even punch him sometimes and shit. Because she knew that she didn't want nothing to do with him, but all of a sudden she's attracted. She can't she can't fight the attraction no more. I can't fight it no more. They've done that on other shows too. Where there'll be a loving black man in a relationship with a black woman. And then because they had to do this, the white man comes in and that was her boyfriend or somebody that she liked back in the day and it didn't work out, but now he's coming back and all of a sudden you can ruin your good fucking marriage and be with that white man and get rid of your black man that loves you because you want to give into your fucking emotions from 24 fucking years ago. That's bullshit. But they do it all the time. They do it all the time. But dude, that's, that's the agenda they're pushing. Like, if you look at it like this, I think it really pissed me off. It really got me, that really pissed me off, I was going to say this. That really didn't sit right with me too much. Now, Lisa, <laughs> when that boy, he was hot. That dude, Lisa Turtle. Yeah. You, you didn't like when you didn't like when Zach. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna speed up. You didn't like when Zach kissed her, right? I didn't like that shit. Yeah. I did not but I think the reason why Zach kissed her on the Say by the Bell is because at that time they were probably dating. So that's probably why. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I would have been more pissed off to tell you the truth. I mean, I was kind of shocked when I said, I'll tell you, like, me even seeing a white boy with a black chick, even when I was, like, 10 or 11 years old, because that's around the time when I was watching Say by the Bell when it was on with, with him, uh-huh. that that shit to me would make me look like, I wouldn't, I'm not yeah, being racist, I'm just like, I'm shocked, because I don't see nothing like that. That's not what I was used to seeing. But I would have been even more mad if it would have been Screech that ended up with her ass after all them times of trying. That would have really pissed me off, so I'm glad that she didn't pick him ever. <laughs> That really would have pissed me off. Cause he didn't deserve to get that at all. Shit. He was a geek. He was a geek. As much as a geek in that show as he was in real life and still is to this day. <laughs> Listen, they both they both cat shit crazy now, but, but the thing is but the thing is, you know what? I only said, you know, if he would have got with, the streets would have got with Lisa in the end. I wouldn't have been pissed off. No, I would have been pissed off because the guy was the underdog. That's the only reason why. Yeah. I didn't give a shit about him. So it's to him, he was irrelevant to me. But I seen Zach kiss. I was like, huh? I was like, <laughs> huh? Mm-hmm. I, was like, I was like, what is this shit? What is this? That's oh that, man. That, 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 that boiled me up. Yeah, it kind of took you by I, surprise. I mean, I but I mean, think about it. Think about it. They never had no black guys on that show until later on in like other seasons and shit. Yeah, they had a token black guy. They yeah. had a token black guy for Lisa. A little generic black guy. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about that. I'm not talking about like people that she dated. I'm talking about like you look at the cast and the cast is Zach. Then you got Slater, who's a Hispanic guy. Then you got Screech. There was three white boys. There was no black guy to represent us in that show. But they had the three girls. They had the two white girls and then the one black girl. Yeah, so you had the Slater, Slater was Slater was all the minority male that you needed. In he one, was black, yeah, he was black and Spanish. Yeah, basically, and I he, guess he, so. Yeah, he got fucking clown. He got fucking clown, and he was smashing his fucking clown. Yeah, think about it, he got clown. That's true. The bitches was dissing his ass and shit. But you know, you know they ain't gonna make the the minority guy be the guy that's cool like that. Even though the minority motherfuckers are ma- basically the cool ones all the time, because they be fucking still entrenched from us all the time. But yeah, Zach, but, uh, Zach was the main character because he had came from the other show like before thing. Saved by yeah. the Bell. So yeah. the the show became Saved by the Bell after it was that other shit with that teacher and when she left. It yeah, became Saved by the Bell. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so he became the yeah, main man. character. So that's why he wasn't going to be the one to be outclassed. And if he 